how many successful Kenyans have no loans, might be you'll get none. Because even those with billions want to have a trillion to continue with their businesses. The only problem with a loan is when you take a loan not knowing what to do with that loan. Or take a loan with the wrong projection. Or take a loan and you get excited and you use it for the wrong purpose. And therefore, we really need to ask ourselves where the rain started beating us. The loans we are discussing today, they are accumulation. It's not just a loan that was taken the last one year. We are talking of loans that had been taken time to time from the government of Mwai Kebake, administration of Uru Kenyatta, and now you have the administration of uh, William Samuel Ruto. What you ask ourselves are the experiences that we have. How did Kebake manage his loans? At what time did our appetite for loan superseded the reason even why we are borrowing these loans? How have we been managing our loans? Have we been able to evaluate our sales? Did we even have a plan before we took the loans? Because even in business, you have to have a, have a business plan. What do you intend to do and the outcome? If you are getting a moratorium, for how long? If you are going to repay your loan, at what particular juncture are you also going to bridge the gap and now start uh, counting on profit? Because a loan is a loan. Either it is taken by Mama Boga, whether it is taken by an industrialist or a government. The end game is that when a government borrows, there is a grace period whereby at that particular juncture, we shall also be able to break even. If you are borrowing for roads, might be after 50 years, the country start benefiting out of that loan. Or we are, we are borrowing so that this road can trigger economic activity here and there. It is about electricity to trigger economic activities. They are supposed to, to stimulate, any loan is supposed to stimulate the economy one way or the other. Some short term, others long term. We were told when we went to take SGL that might be it will start, we shall start getting benefits 50 years. I agree. The loans we are taking today, some loads, another 20 years. But the question that we must ask ourselves now. Where we are today, we are talking of hunger in the country, eradicating hunger. We are talking of the cost of living. If we start blame game, who took the loan? How was the loan used? How are we going to take this one? Then we shall have not have addressed the question that is facing us today. Because, Mr. Speaker, this administration is only one year old. The loans we are paying were taken five, six, seven years ago. We know of uh, how the boats were taken. And therefore, we cannot say that this administration came the, uh, the other day and they should now be able to explain to Kenyans why we are in a deep hole. The explanation is very clear that we have a debt here and whoever comes in, even after William Samoy Ruto, will come and shoulder the responsibility of paying the loans that this administration will take. And therefore, we must realize that the loans that we got from the previous government it is the highest time we start now planning. What we need to do is to give information to Kenyans, for Kenyans to understand every step that we are taking to stabilize this economy. That already we are in deep sea, the waves are there, the, currency, uh, the, the, the current is very, very, very heavy for us, and how do we navigate out to safety? Mr. Speaker, we need now to think of short term, not long term. If you look at all these loans, the way they are uh, tabulated here, I have looked at them. Some have gone to pastoral economy. Some have gone to agriculture value chain. Others have gone to uh, issues to do with the, with the syndicated short term, other syndicated loans. If you look at it, macros, small and medium enterprises, and they are distributed across the country. Nobody can argue that these loans were directed to one region of Kenya. 
They are distributed all over. They are in Northeastern, they are in Coast, they are in Western, they are in Nyanza, they are in Central Province, and therefore it is our problem. When we come to blame each other, let us remember these monies are being paid and they were taken all over. No one region can say that we benefited, the others say we never benefited. And therefore, it's a question of asking ourselves, did they go to the right usage? If you look at some of these loans, they went to enhance water uh, issues to do with the water, others about agriculture. The one question we should ask ourselves, when five, 10 billion was taken to a certain region to develop, to develop agriculture value chain, was it used for that purpose? If it was about water, was it for that purpose? If you look at, for example, the last 15 years, we have done a lot of, uh, a lot of work in northern Kenya on issues to do with water. Look at what is happening today. The Reno is here with us, they will be left with no drop of water. Look at the western region, a lot of our agriculture value chain, most of the money went there. Today, are we able to pay those loans out of uh, the intended use of that money? Look at small and macro. Are we able to generate money? Can we say 10 years down the line, these are the benefits? Because you ought to have seen the benefits that have been accrued from the loans that we took. Today, once you talk of agriculture value chain, do we have any supporting institution that's supporting agriculture? Both rice stock and hot cash, and even the cash crop you have in this country, all directorates are dead. Sugar directorate, dead. Tea directorate, dead. Coffee directorate, uh, uh, directorate dead. Hot cash, everything is dead. Look at pastoralist areas. Are we improving the animals that we have there? Are we controlling diseases? Are we still selling the same bull, 20, 30 kgs, when we are supposed to have gotten a hybrid that can give us 100 kg? Are we supporting those farmers? Are we supporting those institutions that can give us immediate outcome? When I was Minister for Agriculture, we came with a, out with a, out with a program that we required only 2.4 billion to make Kenya uh, a seed, uh, 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 a potato seed uh, uh, exporter, import, uh, exporter of potato seed, whereby we could have been able to produce all the seed we require in this country and start exporting, and the program was only taking 21 months. Today, if you look at how we can improve our animal breed, uh, breed in three years' time, you can turn around, and I know this, uh, Mr. Speaker is around here, you'll be able to tell us that you can turn that economy in as short as two years, three years. Today, a, tea, uh, a coffee farmer will be lining up looking for a, a grafted seed. When we have a directorate of our coffee, which is dead and cannot be able to be supported. The issues we'll be coming up with today is asking ourselves, are we still going to rely on lanes or we are going to rely on water? Because end of the day, Israel relies on water. Kenya relies on lanes. Egypt relies on water. Kenya relies on lane. At what juncture can we, shall we translate, tra, transit from issues of thinking traditional way of doing things to modern way of doing things? Using very small amounts of money, turn the economy of this country and we be committed. Because Ed game is that I come today, I become the minister. What I see is the five years I'm the minister for... You actually have one more minute. Thank you. The issue here is our mindset. When we come in as an administration of William Samuel Ruto, and we are thinking five years or ten years only, what will benefit us as readers in only five years? We are not planning for our future generation. When we come in as an administration of UDA and as opposition as Mio, and not thinking about our mother country, Kenya. That tomorrow, if Asimio will ever take over, they will take over from where Kenya Kwanza left. Mr. Speaker, uh, I believe it is high time that we think as Kenyans, 
and not as political parties, and us know who is leading this country, and that this Kenya is our baby, and together we must take care of it. Thank you. Thank you, Joe 504.